What's up StarCraft fans, you're watching a copy station, I am CTG, and it is still out of order on their million problem. I'm playing this time as Raynor, and my ally Yuri Prime is playing as Artanis. So, huh. Raynor, you will have darkness, time warp, and power over- oh wait, microtransactions I mean. Let's start the game, go look at what's my ally, and Let's just do this. I'm not exactly looking forward to doing Rainer because not enough minerals. He, he his power relies not on being able to minerals. get a big army and <laughs> being able to control that army as well as remake it whenever he loses that some of it. With microtransactions, it's gonna be hard to keep to keep a big enough bank or to maintain enough of my resources that I keep get that I get to keep making all of my army. So I'm giving myself the best chance here by pairing up with Artanis, who is Raynor's favorite partner because he gives Guardian Shell and that, I hope, gives my army the necessary boost to stay alive. Guardian Shell's the best. For Raynor at least. As usual, we will want to start with the economy, so I'm gonna get a command center first. Like so. Normally I go for Bio and Widow Mi or Spider Mice rather as Rainer, but in this particular game, or in th for this particular map rather, for the Vermilion problem, I usually just go for a straight up Bio. Just because there are many attack paths for the enemy and I'd rather not have to worry about figuring out where to uh, put the Spider Mice. And also, Another, another thing is that the uh, this mutation has microtransactions, so putting their minds will add an additional four minerals apiece. Okay, don't want to fall behind in the mineral pickup or the uh, crystal pickup count. The first crystal has been turned in. Start an orbital command as soon as it is available. Now let's move this over command or this barracks to its proper location. And you can see that even moving the barracks around costs money. All commands cost money, even using top bars costs money. It's gonna be really hard to max out and maintain and replenish my army once I do start losing some of it. And for that reason, I'll probably build an extra orbital command or two. Of course, I still wanna get my gas. A lot of bio players don't like to get gas just because they rely on Maurice, but you do still need gas, at least in the early game, up to the mid game actually, for all your upgrades and your medics. So it's actually quite important for Rainer, at least up to the, up to the late game, or up to the start of the late game at least. Once once you get 3-3 complete and you don't need to go for Vikings, the gas income is not that critical anymore. Okay, we're just continuously producing our SCVs and now let's start another barracks. Actually, we need to see what the enemy is. Oh, it's Heldians, that means we will be facing 10 mech today. That's fine. You can see even the the, the dusk wings costs money to micro. I'll start a master there. Okay, we're good. Start wrecking this guy's base. Of course, my ally, uh, our Titans, will be going for Tempest. My strategy to minimize the amount of micro I need will be just to sort of rally all my barracks. To one of his tempests and hope to just not micro the the bio. I'll just uh, yeah. I'll just have the bio follow that tempest and sort of attack anything that comes near. Don't worry, it's auto attack. It's not like Starcraft One where if you rally something toward a unit, it's just gonna really literally follow it. Or Starcraft Two, when your unit is following it, another unit, it will do whatever command. The other is, for example, if you have your bio set, set to follow Kerrigan, Kerrigan's attack moving, the bio will also attack move. Updated reports indicate they've reached the two minute mark. Hopefully they start. There it is. Okay, let's use the Hyperion to kill this uh, drop. I kill most of it. 
Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Oh, upgrade. Rule number one is Rainer. Always upgrade your command center as soon as available. Okay, let's get those infantry upgrades. Let's go there. Let's drop factory. Actually, I thought the high pier couldn't jump anymore without the without the well, without vision. That's interesting. It looks like the surge is over for now. Okay, looks like uh, I have enough uh, minerals. Let's start another pair of backs. And actually, I also have. Let's use the duskus first to drop those hellions. We'll have more as the situation develops. And okay, I have bio here. I have submarines, so that should maintain vision. And now let's start switching over our SCVs to our expansion area. Of course, we also need gas, as I mentioned earlier. So let's put them right there. Let's actually start a missile turret because the enemy is Terran. That means will, there will be Liberator harass. As I, as I say that, there it is. You need to. Oh wow, that SCV moved just in time. That is quite fortunate, actually. I think, yeah, it's gonna be. It's gonna cost to micro these. Oh man. Oof. Yeah, that that is painful. When you're a raider and you're forced to pay for every command you you issue. It's gonna be painful. Good thing is I do have mules, so they'll offset some of it, but not enough. Once my army grows bigger, it's gonna be harder to it's gonna be harder to max out because more of my resources will be spent into a moving. Banshee airstrike ready. Okay, let's do one command and just stuff these guys in. Okay. I'm just letting them. Uh oh, Banshees? Okay, the enemy is here. That means at, le at least I'll be able to drop my, my army right there. Additional supply. All right. Let's keep making those depots. Now let's get the medic upgrade and the. Because of shells. Let's get these. Oh, where, where are you not mining? <laughs> Alright. Start another command center. So we can get more more mules going. You know what? Let's get another orbital command. So we'll have six for this game. Normally I, I only I only need about three or four. Got some visitors heading for our well, base. four. They don't look too friendly. But oh it's not here. I like to think the lava It's a bit of a bad Terry says that's it's a bit of bad luck. Okay. <laughs> so we just Oh oh it's the uh it's the triple the triple enemy thing, the triple crystal spawn. Again, uh I already did I already did the the image where I map out where all the crystals will spawn and in which order, just check out my comment below and it'll be right there. If it's not, if not, just remind me to put it there, so I can so I can put it there. So far, so good. The appearance, as it turns out, is still really good. Or bio, as it turns out, is still really powerful. Okay. Yeah, it turns out that Apirin can still, can still warp jump into this area, even without vision. The stabilizer has reached the halfway point, but it's still too okay. for celebration. Oh, orbital commands. Rule number one is Rainer. <laughs> Can't forget that. Of course, I don't have enough minerals to turn into a, into an orbital command. And I just, ah, I just spent all my minerals. There we go. Finally. Got to go. That was a bit of a delay there. Looks like my allies pushing into the southwest base, so that's gonna help us out. I'm also gonna push here. 
kill that liberator. Word is the lava is Get another point of estrogen there. Let's go live to the planetary That's gonna help out. Alright, now we're starting 3-3 three, three upgrades. Let's actually kill this. Uh, even stimming costs money. Oh, I can't really move that. It's gonna be more expensive to keep them alive to just remake them. Well, not really. It's still more expensive to me, but just barely. Because they cost so much to micro. Okay. Where? Oh, there's one crystal there. Let's. Uh, yeah, get one SCB to gather that. Stim our marauders. And create more bio. Alright, let's A move. Let's go. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stutter step or kite or form a concave. I'm just gonna let my army roll and just hope that Guardian Shells Oh look, there's there's another crystal there. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope that Guardian Shell and right now Shield Overcharge are good enough to keep my bio alive. So far so good. We're actually clearing house. Oh, we're maxed out. All right, uh, let's move in though. Uh, let's move in then. Looks like All right, let's go. I have to be careful not to lose my army here. I'm detecting an enemy attack. They're heading towards us now. I am maxed out, but as soon as I lose my army, it's, I'm gonna need, have to. I'm gonna have to replace them. But I'm wondering if Guardian Shell is good enough to keep me to keep me afloat here. Because as long as I don't lose my army, I'm already maxed out. I don't need to make any more. So it might be it might be actually okay to just micro once I'm maxed out. Oh, there's another wave there. You have to clear this out. All right, our ally is helping out. Our allies are being attacked. Let's do it. Let's move in. Yeah, who cares? Let's just micro. Move in. Yeah, just drop a bunch of mules in case we ever need to replenish anything. Alright, move in. Oh, there's a ghost there. I saw, a, I saw a little bit of ghost moving. Well, a couple of bio died. A couple of dudes died, but... We will avenge them. Do not worry, we will avenge them. Might as well get the... Attack upgrade for my Banshees. And as well as the Hyperion. Speaking of which... Oh wait. Where are the crystal spawns? Not here. Okay, so that means it'll be at the bottom. So we'll need to... Oh, there's an attack, there's an attack wave here. Let's use I appear. Use a point defense drone to keep those guys alive. And I saw, I heard it, wait, it might go off. It might be this one, but... There was, there was in fact one at the ramp, so it was good that I scanned anyway. Yeah, here they are, here they are. All right, now let's gather all these crystals. Crystals. There we go. Gather the these. Gather the these. Gather the these. Oh, my allies uh, probes already here. Never mind. Break it down. Okay, stim. Move in. Sounds like Okay. Drop another set of dust wings. Let's go, guys! Move! Keep moving, keep moving. Yeah, just. <laughs> We're actually rolling through! Okay, we need to replenish 8 supply, but we can actually do that. Oh, there's a little one here. Well, I need to take care of it, but. Look, we're maxed out again! 
This is perfect. Another lava surge is coming soon. Another lava surge. <laughs> we'll have more after this short message from our sponsor. <laughs> Rich boy. <laughs> I'm so rich you can actually micro and spam commands even though microtransaction is active. This ultimate what mutator move. It's contributions to this fair city will never be forgotten. This is awesome. <laughs> Let's find it. Ah, there they are. Let's go. Let's go. The stabilizer is back on. Allies are being attacked. Got all these crystals. I'm sending an airstrike now. Oh, there's another set of uh, defenders here. Oh, we do nice find the last crystal. We have two here. This could be another one somewhere. You know what? Let's go for the full clear. We have enough time. We are still gathering crystals, but. I know where it is. It's right there. See? <laughs> Detective boy! Detective boy! Yeah. <laughs> Insufficient gas. That's gonna do it! <laughs> oh, there's a nuke! I didn't even see where it is. <laughs> yeah. This better be good. By the time you've been waiting, you gonna give me orders? Turns out Artanis is a really good ally for Rainer. By the numbers, boys. That moment. You've been waiting on you. You gonna give me orders? By the numbers. Who wants some? This better be good. Oh, I can fix that. I can fix that. There it is. Let's fix that. Banshee airstrike ready for deployment. The now you can spare. Now you can spare the light. Is coming for us. Templar, ready your blades. The Dominion's allies are victorious. Blood was blood. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. If you have an idea for it, also do please leave that in a comment. Let's see the score screen. So Rainer can work as long as you have an Artanis ally. Let's get that EXP and there we go. Killed a lot more, but he had he had a lot, lot more crystal carrying time, and that's fine because uh, that's basically his role. All right, see you.